sports coverage you can count on. It certainly didn't feel like the end of spring practice here in Athens. Cloudy, rainy, and temperatures in the 50s for Georgia's G-Day game here at Sanford Stadium. But that didn't stop Georgia fans from filling the place up about halfway to cheer on the red and black. Because I'm asking myself if I'd have came out in that weather, I doubt it. So to, to have um, the crowd that we had, I was, I was very pleased. And what's amazing to me is the dog walk. I mean, those folks are... Uh, as loyal as they come because they're out there in the, the rain and the weather and wanting to get a handshake. It just says a lot about um, our fan base, our state of football here, and the love for football in the state. I mean, I can't thank the fans enough for braving some of those conditions and getting out and doing it. I have a feeling you guys were coming no matter what. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we uh, saw the weather was bad, but decided we were going to tough it out and come enjoy the game. Is it just that you got to get football wherever you can find it? Uh, Georgia football, yeah, absolutely. It wasn't a great start for quarterback Jake Fromm, picked off on the second play of the game by defensive back Eric Stokes. JJ slipped, and it was able for me to like to look at the quarterback when I really shouldn't, but he slipped, so I took a little gamble. Luckily, I'm glad the gamble paid off. I, I didn't probably play as great as I wanted to play. Um, I mean, that was nothing on them. You know, that's just um, you know a little win here, a little win there. Uh, me, little wet balls, but it's no, it's no big deal. I guess. That's something I gotta get better at, but hey, you know, we, we got the opportunity to go out and play, um, see what we did good, see what we did bad, and um, go in and, and fix it this summer. But eventually, Fromm helping to lead the red team back to a 22 to 17 win over the black team, and to the victor go the spoils. The bet this year for the winner, uh, well, winners get uh, steak and lobster, and losers eat beanie weenies. I get steak and lobster. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be tough to watch those other guys eat steak and lobster? Oh, it's going to be very tough knowing that we had lead most of the game and it came back at the end. Steak and lobster is a whole lot better. It was also the first opportunity for new offensive coordinator James Coley to shake things up for the Dogs offense. He's always thinking about, hey, the next play and, hey, how can we set this up to, to do this? And um, he's, he's very good um, with, with moving people around and it's just kind of always getting in the right place. So uh, it's, it's awesome to see. You know, he's always he's the innovator on offense, you know, always thinking of plays up and um, I love that about him and he does a great job at it. Oh man, I love playing for Coach Cole. Uh, he just brings an aspect of just energy. You love playing for a guy like that. Uh, he just motivates us to play. And uh, as far as coaching, he does a great job uh, getting everybody the ball, more balanced. So I just love playing for that type of guy. We weren't going to go out there and just, we want to find out what the players can execute. That's not the purpose of a spring game to go throw everything at the kids. We want to let, especially the guys that have, don't have game experience, execute the call and find out what they can do. Georgia will open the season right here at Sanford Stadium Saturday, September 7th against Murray State. You going to be ready? Reporting from Athens, Brennan Robertson, WJBF News Channel 6.